Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We're headed to the governmental registration office trying to validate the two permits for Irinka and Edward. So, we got a couple people inside. One person inside, and then one person that's inside slash outside. What the? What? Is my aim so that bad? I was like touching them with the stun gun and it didn't do anything? Maybe I won't take them out. Let's see if I can just sneak straight in. Wow, they didn't see me. Sweet. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Okay, cool. That was easier than I thought. Oh crap, there's a camera. Let's turn it off. Permit station deactivated. Okay, so let's turn that back on. Yeah. Augmentations permit and registry. Automated validation center. Yes! Wait, did they just turn off or something? Huh. That's odd. Milana, I got into the ARG permit registry. Hold on. That should give me access now as well. Why am I seeing a security timer? Probably because neither of us have done this before. Cross your fingers. I borrowed this employee ID from a guy in a bar. Why does it say there's only one validation slot? Shit, shit, shit! The city has quotas for this kind of thing. Oh, I'm gonna have to make a choice. Shit. Death. What does that mean? The system won't let this guy register two people. Just scan something. There isn't much time. Help one person at least. Okay, this is actually kind of an easy choice. Good. Irenka's documents should hold up to any kind of scanning check now. She's as legit as she can be, without actually being legit. I came here to help two people. It doesn't always work that way. Look, you need to get out of there, please. Elena, that permit I wasn't able to scan. What happens to Edward now? He probably ends up in Golem. Or he gets arrested for trying to use fake documentation. Thrown into a cell somewhere. I don't know. Doesn't exactly feel like a win. Does it? No, it doesn't. We did the best we could. Listen, thanks for being one of the good guys. Yeah, that was a fairly easy decision for me because we just talked with Edward and they said that they want to be as close to their one surviving family member as they could be, right? They said, I want to stay. They actually said, I want to stay in Prague. So. If they're not going to be moving around, then they need the permit the least, right? I mean, they could still use it. Especially since those thugs, I guess, are probably going to come back. But still, I Irinka seems to need it quite a lot more. Is there anything in here I can take?
No. I'm just gonna fog that over. No, 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 not that. Okay, they're suspicious now, but that's fine. Alright. We're good. So we're completely done with that side quest now, right? Yeah, all done. So let's meet Miller at the helibed. Which is up here. At the toy workshop something. Here it is. It's been closed for ages, maybe a year or more. My niece loves those little marionettes they used to have. That's the creepy as hell. Like dogs. I was going to get one for her birthday. You could get her a real dog. No, no, She's an irresponsible little one. idiot. Don't Trusting her with a piece of wood is as far as I would ever go. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, yeah, this is a serial killer's lair. This place is horrible. That's the sound of the last seconds of my life ticking down. That is a classic. That is an old, old plane. Fly! You can fly any plane. Oh yeah, there's that 12-year-old boy's president thing. I think I heard the, the context on that actually a little while ago. I think it was the Juggernaut Collective that hacked a voting system and elected a 12-year-old boy. Which is hilarious. Wow, secret little, little helipad back here. Cool. Before we go there, though... What's in these places? Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Ooh, this is actually going to be a tough one. These are really high levels. Let's do a stop worm. And let's do a nuke. Access granted. Wow, it just exploded it. Violent. I'm lucky there wasn't a firewall. There's also a vent. Over there. Gotta keep that in mind. watching the UN closely for any break in the story. This is Eliza Kazan. Reporting Are we going to get the wink? <laughs> that's their thing. Sign off with a wink. Oh, that's probably where the uh, where the ventilation shaft ends up. We have our good old, yep, two sausages and three pieces of bacon. No, four pieces of bacon. Excuse me.
Let's just make sure this leads where I think it does. Oh, I like that little detail. Cobwebs. And they move. Actually, they just seem to be sliding in one direction, which is kind of creeping me out. The way they move is very unnatural. That's it for this place. May Miller? I just had a thought. If you shoot Miller, does the game just end? Oh, you I can't even take out my weapon. They just prevent you from doing it. Fair enough. Okay, now I could just go talk to Miller, but instead I'm going to have them watch me climb around. Because stuff to loot. Old apartments that people are living in. Let me guess, they're cooking up some rats in there? Do we got some rats? No, nope, just a fire. <laughs> the washer still works. a safe buy in there. I could try to blow it up. I guess I'll do that. It's not like there's anybody here to get angry. Although, actually, if I can't take out a weapon, can I throw a grenade? Probably not. Will it let me? Nope. Can't throw a grenade. Any other places worth getting up to? Nah, I think that's it. I don't see any other balconies or anything like that. Problems? Nothing I can't handle. We're just waiting on chicane. So tell me about this new lead then. The IntelliCam footage. State police dropped it off this morning. Badly corrupted. But Cheng worked his magic and managed to recover some images. They show an org in a yellow hoodie. Dropping bags where each bomb went off. You ran facial recognition? Got an ID? Couldn't see his face. But the bags are the same ones used by Talus Rucker and his aid workers in the Utilet complex. That's a stretch. Three bombings in Prague in six months, Jensen. All of them after the leader of Ark took up residence in that ghetto. Rucker needs to answer for these attacks. Here's your cane now. Am I late? Are you too early? You're right on time. Agent Jensen was just agreeing that we need to bring Rucker in. Quick snatch and grab. Should be easy enough. So we've already decided he's guilty? We just need to talk to him on our terms, not when he's surrounded by fanatics. Getting into Gollum isn't the problem. Reaching Rucker is. Ark territory is fiercely defended. No one sets foot in there. Not even the state police. They can't. Rucker wasn't forced into Gollum City. He bought his way in. Blackmail would be more apt. He threatened to go public with evidence of a humanitarian crisis. One that the United Nations Security Council had swept under the rug. Got them to force the Czech government to hand over part of the Utilek complex to him. A little bit of hush real estate, so to speak. He stays quiet and guarantees safety for himself and his followers. Smart. So how do I get in? I've made a deal with an Ark prospect named Tibor Sokol. Promise to get his family out of the complex, so long as he gets you past Ark's checkpoints. You trust him? We have to. It's that or nothing. Sokol will meet you at an apartment in the housing district. Number 237. Any questions? 
You ask me, Rucker sounds more like a savvy politician than a terrorist. These days, the lines tend to be blurred. But Rucker was a highly respected doctor, with no military training. What am I missing here? Rucker is a man of deeply held convictions, with an unshakable belief in his own righteousness. Doesn't take much to push a man like that to terrorism. Man's a zealot. He's a suspect. Just bring him in. You really believe Ark is responsible for these attacks? For all of them? Ark has had the means, motive, and opportunity every time. Even Dubai? Rucker and the Coalition are still confined to Gollum City. They have a heavy police presence keeping an eye on them. Gollum isn't a concentration camp. You grease the right palms, you can get the papers you need to come and go. I find that hard to believe. So get me the evidence to prove otherwise. Get to tell us, Rucker, and bring him in, Agent. Let's get this over with. Let me know when you've got Rucker. Goddamn, Jensen. Every time I look at you, I can't believe the amount of jewelry you've got on. Tell me, how's that aftermarket shit working out for you? Never better. Maybe you should reconsider. What with that limp? No. I like my limp. Keeps me honest. You ready to light out? Chicane, you get along like this with everyone on the task force, or are you just going out of your way for me? I got a speech, Jensen. Just one. Got it memorized, too. So I suggest you do the same. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm not your pal. I'm not your buddy. Don't try calling me sport or partner. Definitely not fucking bro. I'm your pilot, plain and simple. You want to talk about the mission? Fine. You want to get cozy? You can forget it. Remember all that, and we'll get along just fine. Let's do this. Good. Strap in. Interesting pre-game ritual you've got there. You getting pissed enough to end this guy yet? I got a no-kill order. Is that right? Would have thought he'd done enough to warrant extreme prejudice. How far out are we? Coming up on it now. Not many spots I can set her down. You got a preference? Get as close to the ground as you can. I'll take it from there. Whatever you say, boss. Together. I'm fine. How close did you get me to our contact's location? I was in Unit 237. Jesus, Jensen. I didn't put you on his doorstep. Residential sector should be just ahead of you. Me, I'm gonna switch to autopilot, have a coffee. Let me know if things get interesting. Such an interesting looking place. So different from before. Like, I wonder how long we're gonna be here. I mean, is this just like a quick go in and out or is this like a whole new sector that we're going to be at for hours or you know are there any merchants here oh 
It's a merchant on level 6. Looks pretty big. I mean, not an entire city, but... Yeah, pretty freaking big. So this is the Utilek com Complex. So Golem City... What's the relationship between Golem City and the Utilek com Complex? Is everybody here Og? How can they let this go on? Hey, you better watch yourself around here, right? We don't like sellouts here in Golem City. All these people seem augmented. We have to take care of ourselves. Yeah, this place is really in bad shape. Ooh, there's roaches all over the ground. So this place is supposed to be kind of like a... I think this specific place is like an ARC compound, right? That's what Golem City is. Right, instead of hush money, they got hush real estate, like they said. But uh, they're definitely not... It's definitely not a utopia or anything like it. It seems like they're living in squalor, actually. Oh shit, they're dead. Reply to, I'm sorry, my dear Oscar, of course I forgive you. I wish I could be there to hold you and help you. Please hold on and there's always hope. Love, Mom. Oh, God. Oh, the original email. Hi, Mom, I know it's been a while. I wound up in Golem City. I know you warned me not to get augmented. I know you said I was wasting and destroying what God gave me and maybe you were right. I don't know. It's horrible here. Ark has some aid workers. They give us neuropazine when they can, but it's never enough, and the pain is so bad, I turned to Neon. It was good at first, but now I can't stop. Don't know how much longer I can hold out. I just feel like giving up. I'm so sorry. Is there any chance you can forgive me for all the things I said and did? Ah, oh, that's heartbreaking. God, that's horrible. So... So they weren't getting enough neuropazine, which means... I mean, that alone could very easily kill you because it can cause your body to reject the augments if you don't get a steady supply of that. And then probably to try to take care of the, the pain and suffering that they were experiencing because of the lack of neuropazine and the augment rejection, they started taking Neon, and Neon kills augmented people, which is... I don't know if it's the Neon that killed them or just the lack of neuropazine or both. This place is so cool looking. You must submit to an identification scan. Initiate security scan. Welcome to Golem City, Clank. Just what kind of a security scan is that? Because I've got like 20 weapons on me and all sorts of hacking software and I'm augmented up the ass. Okay, where am I going? That eh, looks like an isolated place. I guess I'll go here, sure. I'm just really enjoying how much this, the aesthetic in this place is so different from the other places. Is there a TV on somewhere? What's making noise? Oh. Despite our dedication to the peaceful advancement of our cause, despite the fact that some of our own were killed in the attack at Ruzika Station, but fear has blinded our accusers. And although I know that many of you are fearful in the wake of such violence, 
I know it is a lot to ask, to lay down in front of our oppressors, but only in this vein will the augmented be accepted into the world again. I speak to all of you, not as the leader of Ark, but as your neighbor, your friend, our only source may be the knowledge, the certainty that we are right. Yeah, I really strongly suspect Rucker is not behind the terrorist attacks or Ark in general. Oh, you know what? I should probably spend my Praxis. Well, that can wait. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Access granted. You're receiving this automatic notification because I am out of the office. Thank you for your patience. Reher Burke, referenced email. Administrator Burke, I understand that contacting you directly is a little unorthodox, but the situation here is getting out of hand. I can now say in no uncertain terms that the PCR have been stealing our aid shipments. I spoke with Dr. Logan last night, and he mentioned that he found over a hundred charcoal water filters dumped into a sewage drain near the police block. Water filters I was expecting in the last shipment. As you can guess, they are completely useless to us now. As a result of our shipment being stolen, I've reached out to the Augmented Rights Coalition for help. Talos Rucker has assured me that if the organization could send any additional aid to the Utilec, he and his people will ensure that the shipments are secured and delivered to us. In the meantime, Ark has been kind enough to, su to supply us with fresh vegetables from the greenhouses. Please, Administrator Burke, I understand that this request is stretching the organization's resources, but these people are dying. I look forward to hearing back from you. The PCR have been stealing our aid shipments. What is PCR? I'm not sure what this stands for. Um... Dr. Enzyma, first, I'm sorry to hear of the trouble in the Utilec complex. While the organization strives to provide aid to as many people around the world as possible, we cannot put focus on one area over another. Uh, yes, it's dire, etc., etc. Sorry, we'll have to rely on what you have available to get you through until the next scheduled shipment arrives. 43 days? Wow. Um, on the subject of seeking assistance from the ARC, I must say, Dr. Enzyma, I'm very disappointed to hear this. We cannot work with nor consider assistance from any group that is associated with terrorism, proven or not. If word of this gets out to our donors, I hate to imagine what would happen to our funding. Please dissociate from Talos Rucker in the Augmented Rights Coalition immediately. Oh, yeah, that's the original email there. Uh, greetings, Dr. Zyma. We hope that you find your new housing unit inside the ULA complex to your liking. Please refer to the registered resident guide. Mm -hmm. um, your safe is currently assigned a temporary code 9990. Okay, so I just stole some supplies from uh, a doctor that's just trying to save people and just barely getting by. Yeah, I feel good about myself. I mean, I just steal from everybody, so... <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I've stolen from a lot of other good people, too. 
Probably most of the people I've stolen from are perfectly fine. I just love the aesthetic of this. So cool looking. Got all this steam going by. Like that pipe, there's steam coming out of it and also just water or whatever is in there dripping down and wires and... Ah, such a wonderful mixture of, of future technology but also just shit falling apart, you know? Ooh. I can open that? Are you serious? There we go. What's up here? This place is so noisy. Oh, are they? Oh, Christ, they're dead too. I don't see any neon. Not that that's the only thing they could die from, of course. A stun gun. Karina Romanov. To whoever- oh, Christ, is that a suicide message? To whoever finds this message, my name is Karina Romanov, and I'm dead. It's been so hard living here, so tiring, so exhausting. Wherever I'm going now, it has to be better than this hellhole. I invite you to take whatever you want. None of it helped me, but maybe things will turn out differently for you. Ugh. This place is so depressing. This is just strengthening my resolve to help augmented people. Even more, and it was already pretty strong. Yeah, they're just sleeping on a roof somewhere. With literally a cardboard box to protect them. Is there anywhere else we can reach on this level? Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of places, but not directly from here. Or, wait a minute. Oh, never mind. Maybe I could jump over there. Can I make it? Yes! And I do want to sell some stuff as well, because I forgot to sell my stuff before I left. Oh, and I forgot to drop off Otar's revolver at my apartment. Oh well, not that big of a deal. I've got more storage space now that I've upgraded it. Don't think I'm gonna go up here just yet, though. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're gonna continue to explore the Utilite Complex slash Golem City.